black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, this has been an extremely trying video for many reasons, but as you can see in front of you here, we have a Turkey Club Fortress going on. I have Thanksgiving leftovers over here. We got some cheesy broccoli, cheesy mash, some stuffing and things, but this is kind of taking precedent over that right now. So I'm gonna smash through this. Anytime there's a leftover turkey from a turkey dinner, and some of you might be wondering, like, what do you mean, turkey dinner? Canadian, it is, it was Thanksgiving uh, a few days back. And so anytime there's real turkey, because we never get to have real turkey too often, I have to always make a turkey club sandwich. So I'm going to smash this and we'll eat the other stuff after, but... Haven't spread today. First piece of bread I've had in like a month and a half. And it is incredible. I have absolutely no idea when the last time I had a turkey club is. It's been a long time. Let's just say that. <clears throat> but I had to make it in the traditional little triangles with that nice crispy bake right there. BLT on top with a turkey and lettuce on the bottom. Probably my favorite sandwich. To ever exist. Oddly enough, The best turkey club I used to ever get came from a a Canadian Asian restaurant or Asian Canadian. Mm. May we buy it? It was called Kim Lee's. He specialized in Asian cuisine. He was Asian himself. But he made the meanest turkey club. It was across the street from a call center I worked at. <laughs> Used to hit it like every day. Shout out to all my people who have worked call center jobs.
I haven't eaten something this satisfying in a long time. All right. So these are cauliflower mashed potatoes. My sisters were down to keep it uh, low carb on the day of Thanksgiving. And so I chefed up some low carb mashed potatoes. So, or yeah, low carb cauliflower mash. So maybe I'll show you that recipe one of these days. Some steamed brock here. And then of course a little tiny bit of leftover stove terp stuffing. Not the authentic, straight out the box. And then I got this cheese sauce that I made for the advent. And I tell you what, it's a good ass cheese sauce. All right. And then a couple crispies on the broccoli. And we're cooking with gas. Cheesy cauliflower mash. You literally make the cauliflower like just like you'd make mashed potatoes. You just kind of steam them, boil them. Cream butter. Salt, a little cheese. And you whip them off. Food processor. And you're golden. Crispy, crunchy, cheesy, steamed rock. The crispy onion, onions on this is just changes the game. I will say the cauliflower it does come out kind of like grits. But hey, if you're looking for an alternative, it's a good one. stuffing it's a little dry it's been you know leftover stuffing definitely hard to keep uh, as fresh as the day it was birthed still tastes amazing but I do feel satisfied right now man that turkey club <laughs> Was so good. Yeah, I'm gonna just call that there. I don't need any more kind of dry bread. But yeah, when there's leftover turkey involved, it's just I have to have a turkey club, a turkey, some sort of a turkey sandwich after. 
your Thanksgiving required. For me, it's a club. Some people like a hot gravy, open face. Some people like a crazy, like, all the shit from Thanksgiving in bread with turkey. Some people just like a, a nice little <coughs> turkey and a cranberry. Or maybe just a simple plain turkey lettuce mayo. I don't know. Whatever your turkey kink is after Christmas in a sandwich, you can tell me down below. But for me, it's a club. Okay. Delicious. A little bit of a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. It is the season, though. Till the next time, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.